Hi there and welcome back to Valley Por Vida. Well, did you know that about 33% of Americans report feeling extreme stress and 77% of people experience stress that affects their physical health? You see, stress seems to be just another factor in our everyday lives. And while you may be quick to blame external factors as the root cause, it may be a good idea to look inwards at your gut. Our team went ahead and spoke with a certified clinical nutritionist, chiropractor, and functional medicine practitioner about how anxiety and stress may actually stem from a very common culprit, and that's hiatal hernia syndrome. But what exactly is this, and how is this causing anxiety and stress? Well, take a look. Hello, I'm Dr. Vicki Peterson. I wanted to speak with you today about a source of anxiety that um, you probably don't know about. So this is my new book called Hiatal Hernia Syndrome. It will be out very soon, uh, probably middle of September. So you're getting a little sneak preview. But um, first of all, what does hiatal hernia mean? Uh, a hiatus is simply a hole or an opening, and a hernia is when something comes up or out of a hole that it shouldn't. So you might have heard of inguinal hernias or abdominal hernias, uh, and all of that is part of your body coming through uh, an opening that it shouldn't. So what happens with uh, a hiatal hernia is we're talking about your stomach. So, what, so a little anatomy, you have your mouth, it's connected via a tube to your stomach. So I'm gonna, this, my fist is gonna be the stomach. And just above the stomach is your diaphragm, which is a sheet of muscle that's very, very strong. And there's an opening in that diaphragm, which is how that esophagus, that tube, connects to your stomach. And what should happen is that stomach should be nicely below the diaphragm because your diaphragm has to move. Every time you inhale, it goes down. Every time you exhale, it pushes up. And so you have to have that freedom of motion uh, for the diaphragm, whether you're just sitting as I am now or you're exercising, it has to be able to uh, push enough air in and out comfortably. So what happens with the hiatal hernia, once again, is that stomach is pushed up on the diaphragm and, and sometimes above it, you see? And so it's, it's pushing up through the esophagus and that classically creates acid reflux. Now there's a lot of different variations of acid reflux. I met a young woman yesterday and she said, I'm just a little uncomfortable in my chest. I wouldn't call it acid reflux or heartburn, but it can be subtle like that. But she had the symptom we're gonna talk about today, which is anxiety. So how does your stomach somehow create this mental symptom anxiety? So let's look at that. Um, Breathing we kind of take for granted and it's not something we can ever stop and survive for very long. So your body has a, a vested interest in you continuing to get enough oxygen and to breathe effectively. With the hiatal hernia, the diaphragm gets a little frozen. It's not that it's not moving at all. You're still breathing, but not enough. And what happens is your body goes into what's called um, a sympathetic reaction or a fight or flight reaction, which is, it's trying to say to you, I don't know what's going on, but you're not getting enough oxygen and it's stressing us out. And we're gonna pump stress hormones, we're gonna pump adrenaline and cortisol, and we're gonna make your heart beat faster to try to get more oxygenated blood. And it's doing all these things actually as a protective mechanism. But for you, getting this surge of stress hormones, you start to feel anxious because your body is saying stress, 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 and then you're looking around in your environment, you don't see a source of obvious stress. It's all coming from within. But that feeling of anxiety or impending doom or an outright panic attack because of the heart palpitations and sometimes a perceived shortness of breath, um, what happens is anxiety. And so sometimes people, especially, a lot of times happens in the middle of the night, it's not exclusively, but you're 
horizontal in the middle of the night so gravity isn't helping to pull that stomach down and kind of give that diaphragm some more motion. This young lady I, I saw yesterday, she said, you know, I'll just really lean back and try to like give my torso more room because I, I'm not getting enough air. So she definitely perceived she wasn't getting enough air and she's perceiving this anxiety worse at night, but nobody's giving her any solutions. And if you run to an ER in the middle of the night with heart palpitations and shortness of breath and a full-on panic attack, they'll check your heart, make sure you're not having a heart attack and check your lungs. And then they'll tell you, you're just having a panic attack and here's your antidepressant. And antidepressants, anti-anxiety medications are very dangerous. They have very scary side effects as far as suicidal tendencies. Um, and it's, it's of course not an answer. I mean, the, the name of my clinic is Root Cause Medical Clinic, so we're all about what's the real reason. And telling you you have a mental problem when it's actually a physical um, diaphragm stomach problem, they couldn't be farther farther apart, not to mention this dangerous drug that you're, you're prescribed and now, now you think you have a mental condition when you don't. So hopefully I describe the mechanism well enough. I know um, I can't tell you how often I run into patients with this problem, whether it's um, a YouTube channel and people reaching out from all over the world or patients I meet. And I met two, two new patients yesterday. Uh, both both young, in good shape. You look at them, they look the picture of health, and they're, you know, both having an anxiety. And um, and they don't get it. And they're like, I don't know, I've never been an anxious person before. I don't understand. So um, I, I hope this explained it well. And um, please consider reaching out to us for a free consultation because you know, because your next question is, okay, that's nice. I get the mechanism. How do I fix it? The good news is it is completely fixable and it's natural, no drugs or surgery, but it is digestive related. Sometimes that, that uh, spasm of the diaphragm has been happening for a long time. Um, our clinic has, has physical therapy and chiropractic for the structural end of things. And then we have uh, medical doctors, functional medicine doctors, um, nurse practitioners, registered dietitians. Uh, we also do um, IVs, nutritional IVs. So, you know, everybody gets to the place they are with this condition a little differently, you know, but the root cause, again, is not hard to fix and can be fully fixed. And uh, I just really wanted you to know that because so many people are suffering needlessly and being told, um, this is all this is all in your head and that's just not true so I hope that helped explain it oh my website is rootcausemedicalclinics.com you can reach out for a free consultation you don't we have a clinic in California and Florida um, but we do telemedicine all across the country so we'd be happy to help Be sure to pick up a copy of our upcoming book, Hiatal Hernia Syndrome, Many Symptoms, One Cause to Learn More. You can also visit Root Cause Clinics, as you see on screen. All right, well, that's all of our time for now. We want to thank you again so much for joining us this morning, and be sure to tune in again next time on Valley Porta Vida. We'll see you then.